What I want to create in this quick but informative video is a shape like this one, which I arbitrarily, since I made it, called the Tribal Sun, and in the creation process I used moving and rotating only. So let me show you how I came up with this design. First I'll create a simple triangle, and for that I'll go to the creation tools. I'll choose the polygon tool. And I'll click somewhere here to get this dialog box. And I wanted to have three sides, because the last time I checked, triangles had three sides. And I don't want it to be too big, so I'll give it a radius of 30 pixels. Uh, I wanted to have black fill and white stroke, so I'll use the shortcut of Shift X we already are familiar with. Now, before we rotate it, let's add with the pen tool an anchor point between these two bottom anchor points. Now we have a total of three anchor points. The last thing to do is to move these two opposite anchor points a bit up. So I'll select them with the direct selection tool and move them up. I'm holding down the shift key by the way. Uh, and I'm gonna do it till I get this sort of a stretched shape. Now I'll start up the Rotate tool by hitting the R key on the keyboard. And I'll Alt-click on the bottom corner of the shape to get the Rotate tool and make the rotation relate to the bottom anchor point. I'm gonna enter 360 and divide it by, say, 25. And hit the Tab key so we can see the preview of the rotation. As you can see, Illustrator counted the right angle for me, which in this case is 14.4 degrees. Now, very important step. If I just click OK, I'll rotate the object, but I won't get the final effect I want. I have to click Copy so I can work on it a bit more and essentially duplicate it 24 times. As you can see, I got a copy of the shape and it's rotated. Now, I'll go to Object, Transform, Transform again. Now, what I'm getting is the last transformation I used. In this case, is the rotation and copy at the same time. To finish off the effect, it's best to use the shortcut Ctrl D to duplicate the transformation as we already know. And if I keep pressing Ctrl D like so, eventually I will get this shape. Now I'll go to Pathfinder and choose Divide. And to complete the effect, we can mess around with the stroke options. I mean, we can align the stroke to center or to the outside to get a different look of the sun and to make the sun eventually look like a cool tattoo. Of course, as I mentioned before in an earlier video, you can apply this technique to whatever shape you want and whenever you want to have an equal amount of duplicated, rotated objects. So have fun with it. The more you experiment, the better you'll get at it. So. These are the basic transformations and transformation tools. In the next section, we will talk about creating and editing type.